Question six. We have numbers and x's on one side, numbers and x's on the other. Step one, simplify both sides. Okay? Simplify both sides. So if I do that, I'll add the numbers on this side. What's 7 minus 6? That would be 1. 1 plus 3x equals. And then I got 3x plus 5 minus x. If you added like terms on that side, what would you get? Now this is 3x minus 1x. What's 3x minus 1x? That is 2x, right? So that's step one. Step two, get x's on one side, numbers on the other. You want all your x's on one side and all your numbers on the other. What do you like to deal with first? It doesn't matter. You could subtract 1 from both sides, or subtract 3x from both sides, or subtract 2x from both sides, or subtract 5 from both sides. It wouldn't matter. As long as you do the same thing to both sides, you'll be fine. I think most students seem to like to take care of him, get rid of the 2x. It doesn't really matter which one you take care of at this point, because as long as you add or subtract the same thing to both sides of the equation, you'll be fine. Anyway, if you subtract the 2x from both sides, you would get 1, and then 3x minus 2x is 1x, right, equals 5. And now you have 1 plus 1x equals 5. What do you do now? Just try to keep this x guy by himself. So sub get rid of that 1, right? Subtract 1 from both sides. So 1x or x equals, what's 5 minus 1? 4, right? And just to make a point, at that earlier stage, at, at this stage here, I didn't have to subtract 2x. Pick another number to subtract, anything at all, and it'll all work out. For example, I could have subtracted 1 from both sides, and it would all still work out. I would get 3x equals 2x plus 4. Okay. Now let's get x's on one side, numbers on the other. I'll subtract 2x from both sides, and that gives me x equals 4. Same answer, right? Or I could have subtracted 3x from both sides, and you would still get the same thing. Watch this. 1 on this side, because this makes 0, equals, and what's 2x minus 3x? Negative 1x, right? Plus 5. Now what? How about try to keep the x's on, x on its own? So subtract 5 from both sides. We have 1 minus 5, which is negative 4, equals negative 1x, right? Because that makes 0. And now it's negative 1 multiplied it by x, divide by negative 1 on both sides, and we get, what's negative 4 over negative 1? Negative over negative makes positive 4. And negative over negative is positive, and that's 1x. So this is 1x. x equals 4 again. So my point is, at this stage, students say, oh, what do I do next? Anything, as long as you don't make a mistake. Just add or subtract the same thing to both sides of the equation.